Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So I got an email from a subscriber, and the subscriber sent the donation, so thanks for your donation. And remember, guys, if you want to guarantee that your question will be answered, make sure you click the link below and send a donation. So this one says, uh, what's good, bro? I'm sure your followers are familiar with a book by the name of the 48 laws of power one of the laws is use absence to increase respect i'm fucking with this girl for a couple of weeks and i feel like she needs something to raise interest levels my question is i want you to tell me flat out step by step points of how to make someone chase you uh, little things like not answering the phone uh too quick or taking longer to reply than her basically gauging a girl's interest we have all been on the other end of the spectrum where a girl doesn't reply to us and we get that faint feeling like something's wrong uh, that clearly makes guys chase um, a bit harder. Um, the other week, a girl off Tinder was coming off strong and initiating so much and showing too much interest, so I literally got put off. Um, you might bash me for trying to play games, for trying to play mind games or some shit, but I feel like there is a method to the shit. Not everyone is a natural. Um, if you, Locario, believe there is there is certain things uh, someone could do to make um, another person chase hard and then and them feel like the guy is slipping away, what is it? Um, women, know, women know very well what they're doing. I've been present when a girl hasn't replied to a guy purposely. How do I throw this girl off? Should I do some push-pull uh, type of shit? All right, so <laughs> it's funny when I when I read stuff like this, um, I'm like, you know, you guys must have been uh really heavy into some PUA shit. You know what I'm saying? You're talking about the push pull and you know, should I do this to increase the attraction and all this other stuff? All right, so look, let me let me tell you something. Let me tell you guys something. This is the thing, right? If you want to get a girl to chase you, right? It has to be in an authentic way right because see what you're doing right here is what i like to call manufacturing attraction right you're doing things purposely to try to get a reaction out of her you understand what i'm saying which in turn is the thing that is going to make her not really want to chase you or not really see you as that attractive because what you're doing right now is you're actually putting in um, a lot of time and energy thinking about this girl trying to, you know, um, you know, trying to get at her. But see, the thing, the thing that makes a woman chase a guy is when she sees a guy as valuable and she notices that he's not really sweating her. You understand? But see, the thing is, is that you actually trying to do all of this stuff is you sweating her? Is you giving her all of this attention? Because what you're doing is, is that you're taking a lot of time to manufacture a situation to get her to want to get at you. Because you're like, you know, um, should I uh, reply, long, take long to reply, um, you know, and act like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm putting off hitting her up. To make her think, you know, you're doing all this extra shit that you don't need to really, be, you don't really need to be doing. You understand? So, the thing is this: you don't, you shouldn't be trying to manufacture attraction, right? You should be the type of dude who women find attractive already, and they want to actually get at you, right? So, this is all you really need to do. You know, you don't need to do all this push pull and let me, you know, pretend I'm not really into you and, you know, like, uh, uh, you know, not answer the phone too quick or whatever the fuck it is. You understand that, that, that that's a bunch of bullshit. You don't need to be really doing all of that. Right. All you really need to do is this one. You need to value yourself. And then therefore women will see you as valuable. Right. And two. You have to actually be doing your own thing. You got to be on your purpose. You got to be doing um, shit in your own life that takes up time and energy that you're passionate about, all that other stuff. That's going to make the girl chase you. Now, let me give you an example. I'll give you, you know, a, a story from my life, right? So, you know, I met this chick or whatever, 
you know, cute chick and all that, bad or whatever. And, you know, we exchanged numbers and all of that type of shit. And we went out for a drink, right? So we talking and all this other stuff. And she's like, oh my God, that's so cool that you're a coach and, you know, this and that. And she's asking me a whole bunch of questions. And, you know, she's like, oh, you know, and, then, and as the night went on, we're talking and everything. And she's like, she's like, oh, I never met a guy like, you know, like you before. Like, you're so different. You got all these things going on, blah, 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 right? So date is over. And I'm just during the week doing my thing, doing my shit, right? I'm, you know, working on my shit. Uh, you know, doing the, the fucking bad boy membership programs, all the shit that I'm doing, right? So, as I'm doing this, right, I'm not calling her. I'm not even thinking about her, right? So, what happens is, because I'm so busy doing what I'm doing, right, she's not getting any attention from me. Now, what's going to happen is she's going to want my attention because she sees me as valuable. She sees me as interesting. She sees me as different than most of the other guys she's fucked with, right? And so that is the thing that will get her to chase. So she hit me up like two days after the, the date. And she was like, hey, what's going on, blah, 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 you know. And she's like, you know, we should get together again sometime. And I said, yeah, that sounds good. She's like, when are you free? And I was like, y'all, you know, I got to check my schedule. I'll, I'll hit you back in like an hour or whatever, right? So now I'm actually checking my schedule because I have to check my schedule. Why? Because I got a lot of shit I'm doing. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So then what happens is, is that I hit her back and I'm like, hey, I'm free this day at this time, right? So we hang out and then, you know, I hit it or whatever, right? And then after I hit it, I'm back on doing the shit that I'm doing. I'm not calling her. I'm not doing all this stuff. But see, the key is I'm not calling her to increase her attraction. I'm not calling her because I got shit to do. You know what I'm saying? You see what I mean? And so what happens is, is that because I'm not calling her, I'm not giving her that energy or none of that stuff, that makes her want to holler at me. So she's hollering at me more than I'm even hollering at her. You feel what I'm saying? And that's what's making her chase me because one, she sees that value in me. And two, I'm busy doing my own thing, which increases the attraction because now I'm not really giving her that energy. See, you're trying to manufacture what I'm explaining, what I did that was natural. You see what I'm saying? That was authentic. See, that's the problem with a lot of you guys out there when it comes to the game is that you're, you're trying to do these little like tricks and weird shit. To try to get a girl to fuck with you. But at the same time. You're doing that for her. So therefore what you're actually doing. Is that you're giving her all this energy anyway. So even let's say for example. You try all this goofy shit. And let's say you hang out with her again. She's going to feel that energy. That needy energy that you have. While y'all are hanging out. Because the same, the same energy you have with trying to do all of these tricks and gimmicks and all this nonsense to try to get her to chase you, what's going to happen is, is that when you're in front of her and interacting with her, that same energy is going to, she's going to feel that same energy. It's that, it's, it's all needy energy. You see what I'm saying? So even if you do get to see her and hang out with her again, it's really not going to go in the direction you expect because you've already been displaying that needy energy by doing all of that shit on the side, trying to get her to like call you and chase you and all that other stuff. Now you're in front of her and now she's feeling that energy of a needy dude. You're the same guy that's doing all that goofy shit while you're in front of her. You see what I'm saying? It's the same shit. It's the same energy. So what I'm saying to you guys is this. And you know, you're talking about like step-by-step -step stuff. If you want some step-by-step -step stuff, you got to join the Bad Boy Membership. I actually have a whole program called How to Get Women to Chase You. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you go on the Bad Boy Membership to, to check all that other stuff out. You feel what I'm saying? But see, the thing is, even when I talk about step-by-step -step stuff, I'm just breaking down natural shit. Because you're saying, well, everybody's not a natural. You feel what I'm saying? You know, the reason why people aren't a natural is because they're not being natural. You know what I'm saying? That's how you be a natural. You be natural. And so if you actually have shit going on, naturally, you're not going to be, uh, you know, hitting her up all the time. You feel what I'm saying? If if you're being natural about it, a chick might text you and you're in the middle of something. You understand what I'm saying? 
or you're, you know, you're in a meeting or you're fucking on your way somewhere. You're in a, you're, you know, let's say you take the, the train or something in the train somewhere. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got time to really text her at that specific second. So you say, okay, you know what? I'm going to text her when I get out the train. I'll text her when this meeting is over. Right. But you're not, you're just, you're not, not texting her just to not text her to try to get her to want to chase you. No. The reason why you're not texting her because you, you can't at the moment. For real. You feel what I'm saying? That's the thing. See, when chicks, look, when chicks text me, I text them back. I don't wait hours. I don't wait a long, I text the girl back literally right there. If I have the time to text her back literally right there. The only time I wait a long time to text a girl is if I can't text her at that moment. See, a lot of y'all, <laughs> y'all do this goofy shit because, you know, you're trying to, you're trying to get the girl to chase you and like you and do all this other stuff. But what the thing that would get her to chase you and like you and, and do all this other stuff when it comes to dealing with you is if at first you work on yourself to become that valuable guy so that she sees you as that valuable guy. And then that's what's, that's what's going to make her want to keep fucking with you. See, part of what makes her chase you is that most of the other guys she's dealing with are lame. See, what you guys got to understand about this, this is why I say the game is so important. When you understand game, you are way above most other dudes. You understand? So what happens is, is that when she meets you, the thing that makes her chase you is because she wants to keep and wants to continue the situation with a man that she feels is rare, that she feels is special, that she feels is valuable. How do you become that guy? You work on your own shit. You be about your shit. You understand what I'm saying? You be on your purpose. You do what the fuck you're doing. Because when you're on your purpose, you're not not calling her uh, 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 because you're trying to not call her. You're not calling her because you ain't, you actually don't have time to call her at that moment. You'll hit her up later whenever you got the time to do it. Then what's going to happen is, is that she'll end up calling you more. Look, I remember one time I went out with this chick and... And she was a cool chick. Like, I liked her. She was cool. But the funny part was, I was so busy, not only with working on my shit, but also dealing with other women. I was so busy that I forgot that I even went out with her until she hit me back that next week. Like, I went out with her, and then I was just doing my thing. I didn't call her. And then I get a, I get a text from her. And I'm, I'm like, oh, shit, this is so-and-so. You know, I'm, I, like, I literally forgot that I even fucking went out with her. Because I was so busy with my other shit and, um, you know, busy dealing with all these other girls. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And so that compelled her to come at me. But I wasn't sitting there like, oh, I'm going to pretend that I'm not, you know, I'm busy. I'm sitting there twiddling my thumbs, but I'm thinking about her all day because I'm doing all these little tactics. And I got these little spreadsheets that I'm, you know, I met her this day. So I'm going to wait like 4.5 days to hit her up. Then I'm going to say this, but I'm, I'm only going to, when she calls me, I'm going to wait. I'm going to make the phone ring at least three times before I pick it up. Or when she texts me, I'm going to definitely uh, wait at least three to seven hours. Or what I'm going to do is since I match with this girl on Tinder, I'm only going to mess message her once a day i'm going to message her on monday and then she's going to reply and then i'm going to wait till tuesday to send her the next message and then she's going to reply then i'm going to wait till wednesday to send her the next message so she'll think i'm high value and she'll chase me bullshit guys bullshit you understand guys stop all the nonsense just understand that when you're dealing with these girls, what's going to make them chase you, want to come at you, want to really make something happen with you is if she sees you as valuable and she will see you as valuable if you see yourself as valuable and if you're just doing your thing and you're not sweating her. You understand? So that's pretty much it. Listen, guys, if you want any more information on this, make sure you join the Bad Boy Membership. Remember, the Bad Boy Membership sale is still on from now up until May 31st. You got a few days left. Join the Bad Boy membership. You're going to get um, How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day audiobook for free. 
Bad Boy Book for free and 60 Second Game Book for free. All right? So that's pretty much it, guys. I'm out of here. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone. Click the link below to get the ebook 60 Second Game. In this book, you learn how your confidence, verbal communication skills, appearance, response to rejection, and honesty can affect your game. Click the link below to get your copy today. Now, before you turn off this video, I want you to do three quick things. One, I want you to click the link below to send me a question. If you have a question on dating and relationships, I'll make a video about it. Two, I want you to click the link under that to get my free audio program, Undeniable Game, which teaches you seven easy to follow tips on how to really attract beautiful women. And three, I want you to click the link under that one to go to Bad Boy Membership, where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. What's up, it's dating and life coach, Mr. Locario. Go to Bad Boy Membership Dot com and master the dating game by joining my bad boy membership program in this program you'll receive 45 through 90 minute easy to follow step-by-step -step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract date and have sex with beautiful women join the bad boy membership today by going to badboymembership.com that's badboymembership.com